What's good with y'all's camera and another video straight like that? Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, man. Let's hop right into the video, man. So look, nobody actually cares about you. Let me explain what I mean by that, bro. Um, we live in a world where there's so many different groups uh, of people. And what I mean by that is we identify with things that describe us. So, you know, if you black, then you identify with being black and you and you and you ride, you ride that hard. Like, you know what I mean? Like you you black, you know what I mean? Nothing can take that away from you. If you're um, short, tall, you ride with people um, that are just like you. You build these communities. But we've gotten to the point where they're bigger than just communities. All right, we actually identify with this and we make these things our personalities. We dive into these separate uh, separate groups. And to be honest, it's not good for the world because how is it that we're gonna all be equal and that we all gonna understand each other when everything we do is leading towards more separation? It doesn't make too much sense, bro. Why is it that we got this group over here that feels oppressed and then this group over here that feels oppressed and then we got a new group that's gonna pop up in 2023 and then 2024 and 2025? It's always somebody that feels offended and somebody that feels oppressed. But the, 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 the bottom line to all that is that nobody actually cares. Nobody actually cares for a lot of the things going on, bro. And the reason I say that is because what a lot of people will do is that they will pretend to care so that they can pretend to be an empathetic person. They can pretend to be a kind human being because it makes them feel good. And they want you to see that because they want you to be like, oh, this person, they are standing up for me. They're not really standing up for you. People in this world are generally selfish. It's just like, you know, back in, 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 in 2020, you know what I'm saying? When that whole thing with, with Floyd happened. You know, you had a whole bunch of white girl Emily's putting BLM in their bio. These are the same girls that would never date a black dude. These are the same girls that whenever say they hear a black dude talking with, with, with some sense, with correct grammar, oh, you're not really black. Obviously, it's not just the white girls, but y'all get the point. We got people putting BLM in their bio. They have no idea what they're actually saying. See, that's just proof right there. People don't actually care about your problems, especially not if you're a man, bro. And it's, it's more overt if you're a man, bro. If you're a man and you're going through loneliness, uh, uh, some sort of insecurities, it doesn't matter what it is, dog. You're, you're, you're short and you feel bad about that. You know what I mean? There's this whole body positivity movement and none of it is for, it's for the fellas. You know what I mean? I mean, this has been talked about over and over again, how the body positivity movement is literally just for women that are overweight. That's it. That's what it's turned into. That's what it's turned into. Even though there's a whole plethora of other people, there's, there's people that are disabled, people that have lost an arm and a leg, people that, that, that got eating disorders, stuff like that. But we've turned it into, oh, it's only about women that's overweight. It's either that or or a woman that just wants to be a HOE on camera. Talk about body positivity, but as soon as a, a dude that's overweight come in, everybody clowning on him. Nobody actually cares because nobody actually takes this stuff serious. See, people always talk about how the world is so sensitive. The world is so sensitive. Well, that's kind of true, but I'm of the belief that the world is pretending to be sensitive. The world is pretending to be offended by everything. They're pretending to be offended by everything. Look at look at look at my boy Ye, right? I'm not supporting what he said, but let's be real here, man. You 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 see all this hate, this hatred for Ye. Everybody going in. Why why does anyone care about what he has to say? Does anyone really care about what he has to say? Your life is gonna go on, and you're gonna be all right. This is one man that 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 is 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 a celebrity that people are allowing to change the course of their whole lives. You feel as if that you have to go out your way and do all this, all, all the extras and stuff like that. Like, it's one thing to speak out against it. It's one thing to say, yo, this wasn't cool. But it's a whole other thing. I see people making multiple posts every single day talking about this man. Bro, raise up off his nuts. It's not that important. If it really offends you, then just turn the other way. We don't live in a world like that, though. We, 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 we have to understand that we live in a world where controversy sells, anger sells. It's because we, we keep feeding into this idea that we have to go with what we feel all the time. But what you have to understand is that feelings and emotions are literally deceitful. It says in the Bible that the heart can be deceitful, bro. It can literally mislead you and misguide you, bro. This isn't just relationships. 
This is just in general, bro. The way that you feel can be deceitful because the way that you feel can be manipulated. The way that you feel can be changed. Why do you think that you hold some of the beliefs that you hold to this day? It's because when you was younger, your beliefs were shaped by the way that you were raised, by your parents, by your teachers. So of course you have certain beliefs about certain things or whatever, just in general. It's because you can be manipulated with your emotions. That's why you have to start using live to use your head. The reason you gotta start using your head is because when you use your head, Things can't really get to you like that. When you use logic and you really think through things, things can't get to you like that. You're not going to get played by that woman. You're going to see the red flags. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you going to be at the club and, and, and the girl going, she gonna, you're going to get her number and then you're going to start texting her. And instead of trying to get in a relationship with her, you're going to be like, ah, let me, let, hold on, let me slow down real quick. Because you're using your head, you're not thinking with your emotions and your feelings because what your emotions and your feelings will tell you is that, oh, yeah, you like this girl. Keep pursuing this girl. Keep pursuing this girl. Whole time, you didn't even take a step back and realize that she has an OF link in her bio. Because you wasn't using logic. You was using how you feel. And that's what everybody's doing. They're using how they feel. And a lot of people are being emotionally manipulated. They're being emotionally manipulated. And they're trying to make you feel as if or are they trying to make it seem as if they care? That's the problem with the world, really. That's the problem with the world. Because it's not even that people feel bad for certain people that are, that, that uh, for certain sensitive groups. People don't feel bad for those groups. The truth is that people feel as if they have to make it seem like they feel bad for those groups. Whether they should or shouldn't. That's what it really is. Nobody actually cares, though. Nobody actually cares. And the thing is, is that really too much of a bad thing? And this is what I mean by that. It's one thing if there's a group going through something and, and, and you know what I mean? They really need some support, whatever. That's one thing. But we made it to the point where, again, people are making this part of their personality. People, all they post about is just controversial issues and whatever, whatever. And you can post whatever you want. You can talk about whatever you want. I personally do not care. But maybe we should start focusing a little bit more on our own reality. Maybe we should start focusing more on our own things that we got going on because it can turn into hypocrisy really quick. We see it all the time. We see it all the time where people is calling out another group of people when whole time your stuff ain't even in order. We see, we see it all the time. We see all these, you know, uh, dudes, red pill dudes calling out low value women for, for X, Y, and Z. But the whole time, you the one enabling that behavior because you still going to clubs and parties and picking up chicks at these clubs and parties. And then you want to say it's no good women left. Well, maybe you just in the wrong areas. Maybe your explore page is just full of thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Hypocrisy runs the world. It's everywhere everyone is, is, is hypocritical even i've been hypocritical in the past but you really have to take a step back and again use logic use your head stop going with your feelings all the time because your feelings will literally lie to you your feelings will cap to you nobody really cares nobody actually cares and i think the quicker that we come to this realization that nobody really no, no nobody nobody really you know what i'm saying no, that the, the closer we come to that realization, I think the better the world will be, honestly. Because when we come to that realization that nobody really cares about all these new groups that feel, you know, uh, marginalized. And it's not even like they don't have rights. The fact of the matter is that in the United States right now, everybody has rights. Whether you're a woman, whether you're homosexual, whether you are, it doesn't matter what you are. You have human rights. So at this point, you know what I mean? I understand that there are certain people that may not like you, but what are we really fighting for you? What what is the oppression that we're really under right now? Let's think let's think about black people real quick, bro. Black people, we have rights. Now people don't like us, people treat us unfairly. And that's cool. And you know what I mean? It, it's something to speak up against, you know, when we got, you know, police coming against us. It's something to speak up against when we got our own uh uh our own people. You know what I mean? Shooting each other. But other than that, we don't need the validation of everybody. We don't need to continue to protest and tell white people, oh, you should you should do this and do that. You should feel guilty because of this and that. And that past, uh, the sooner we start letting go of things like that in the past, bro, the closer that we can get to actually being a better place. 
The, but the more we separate ourselves, the worse things it's going to get. And that goes hand in hand with the emotional manipulation, bro. It goes hand in hand because, you know, we think that the things of this earth are so important. We think that the color of our skin is so important. We think that the beliefs that we hold are so important. But the truth is that there's only one real reality, bro. There's only one real reality is that we're all human. That's it. And on the religious front, it's only one real reality. It's only, look, look, look uh, you know what's crazy? A lot of people don't want to talk, don't talk about this, but the truth is that there can only be one correct religion. There can only be one correct religion. There's, it can't both be true because they contradict. And now we, we now the correct religion or the, the correct belief is in Jesus, is in God, but not everyone agrees. Not everybody agrees. And there could only be one. There's only one real reality. And I think that we get so caught up in the things of this world. We get so caught up in the separation. We get so caught up in little things that we that we miss the big picture. We miss the big picture about how we should be treating others. About our souls. That's the biggest thing. We've lost our souls. We've lost our souls because... We're so concerned about Elon Musk buying Twitter that we're not even taking time out of our day to pray. We're so concerned about what's going on with, with Ye that we didn't even take the time out of our day. Did you ask your mama how her day went today? Did you ask your homie how his day went today? See, again, you don't really care. You don't really care. You see, you don't know talk about you don't really care about people, and people really don't care about you. It's a sad world that we living in right now, man. But we can make it better, man. Love thy neighbor, dog. Be kind to those around you. You feel me? Um, always be respectful of those around you. You feel me? And ultimately, dog, understand that no matter what's going on, no matter what controversy is going on, bro, it's okay to stay to yourself. It's okay to not make a comment. Don't feel pressured to have to say something all the time, especially if you don't really feel any type of way about it. Don't let your emotions overcome you. And what I mean by that is don't let people pressure you into feeling like you have to care. That's emotional manipulation. Don't allow that to overcome you. If you don't feel the type of way on something, it's okay to not speak up on it, dude. I'm tired of people saying, oh, your silence speaks volumes. No, my silence just means I'm doing my own thing. I don't care. I'm doing my own thing. I don't have time to be, I don't have the energy to be putting into all this controversial stuff. Nobody got the energy to be doing all that. I'm trying to just better my life right now. I got a YouTube channel. I'm trying to gain subscribers. I'm running track. I'm trying to get faster. I got other things I need to worry about. I don't really have time to be, you know what I mean? Oh, you got to speak up on every little issue. I, I don't. I, I really don't. I don't have to put certain things in my bio. I don't have to put the pride flag in my bio. I don't need to put BLM in my bio. I don't need to put nothing in my bio. I don't need to put that I'm a semi in my bio. I don't need to put none of that in my bio. I don't. It's not that important. I can support y'all from a distance. But to me, I have things that I need to worry about. I'm living in a reality where it doesn't matter. I don't care what you are, bro. I'm going to treat a human being with respect. And that's how we should all look at it. It shouldn't be, oh, I need to show that I respect these people and these people. No, I just naturally just respect all people. So I don't need to tell you that I do. I don't need to make it seem like I do by putting it on all over social media. I don't need to. I don't care about every little issue. That's all I got for y'all, man. I hope y'all really understood. This was just like a little quick little rant. This wasn't even really a thought out video. Like I didn't even know what I was going to talk about. I literally just started the camera and started talking. Anyway, I love y'all right here, man. Peace.